Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. You know that I always try to bring you guys the good news and we have two big pieces today. First, on Thursday, a three-judge panel with the Fifth Circuit ruled that the ATF's frame and receiver rule is illegal and has remanded the case back down to district court to be reconsidered. The decision is a whopping 58 pages, so I'm not going to be reading all of them to you. A lot of it is an argument that we've heard before that the Gun Control Act of 1968 names frames and receivers but did not define them, so the law defaults to the popular and known definitions of the time, a definition the ATF also accepted and used until recently. In essence, the decision says that the ATF can't go all willy-nilly making up their own definitions to words. Here is a highlight. ATF, in promulgating its final rule, attempted to take on the mantle of Congress to do something with respect to gun control, but it is not the province of an executive agency to write laws for our nation. That vital duty, for better or for worse, lies solely with the legislature. Only Congress may make the deliberate and reasoned decision to enact new or modified legislation regarding firearms. But unless and until Congress so acts to expand or alter the language of the Gun Control Act, ATF must operate within the statutory text's existing limits. The final rule impermissibly exceeds those limits, such that ATF has essentially rewritten the law. This it cannot do, especially where criminal liability can, and according to the government's own assertions, will be broadly imposed without any congressional input whatsoever. An agency cannot label conduct lawful one day and felonious the next, yet that is exactly what ATF accomplishes through its final rule. That being said, the rule is still in place until the Supreme Court either makes a determination or decides not to hear the case. But still a win, at least for now. Back a day earlier on Wednesday, a United States District Court judge ruled that the ATF cannot enforce its pistol brace rule. This is big because the next step is to take it to the Fifth Circuit, the same circuit that gave us the ruling I just shared and ruled against the bump stock ban. The preliminary injunction in Bredo v. ATF applies nationwide, not just to the plaintiffs or members of certain organizations. If the Fifth Circuit's track record holds, then the government's next move after that would be to take an emergency appeal to the Supreme Court and hope that, like the frame and receiver rule, they're allowed to enforce it while the case is heard. The Brito case was brought by three Marine vets who argued that the rule violates their Second Amendment rights and is overly vague. The judge agreed, saying the rule is unlawful and that if the ATF is truly concerned about public safety, they should enforce the rules already on the books rather than go beyond their authority to create new ones. Public safety concerns must be addressed in ways that are lawful. This rule is not, he said in a mic drop. This case is also expected to reach the Supreme Court as, like the frame and receiver rule, the pistol brace rule has gotten multiple challenges. That's it for this quick one, guys. As always, thanks for tuning in, celebrate the good news, and happy shooting.